a very good day to everyone i am ravi gupta btech from iit delhi and we will start with gs labels of esc prelims and the first topic which will be cover is current affairs now first of all we must understand that upsc has mentioned words current affairs but it has limited scope it has mentioned only three things which we have to study it has further given that current affairs of national and international importance okay national importance international importance relating to three fields and the three fields are specifically mentioned that is social economic and industrial development this is the syllabus given to us for the first topic so from this syllabus we can interpret that we have to focus on mainly three things that is social development economic development and industrial development we are not concerned here with current affairs in political field current affairs in sports field and so on we have to limited ourselves through these three things okay now further moving on in itself current affairs is a very vast topic so we must first understand what should be our depth and what should be our scope okay so what is the sources what are the sources before us from which we can understand this so we have mainly three things and these three things are given by upsc itself the first thing is in 2016 upsc uploaded a model question paper set you know that this is the new syllabus new pattern it was introduced in 2016 and along with the notification of this new examination upsc uploaded a model question paper and in it that 30 questions were there from which we can get a idea which type of question upsc will ask so this is our first source the second source is nothing but prelims exam of 2017 held in january 2017 and the third source is again prelims exam of 2018 so finally what we can infer is that this is the syllabus and along with it we have these three things only from which we can interpret what we should study and what we should not study okay now further when we go in the depth if we analyze these model question paper previous year prelims paper and this year prelims paper what we are observing in model question paper one question was asked relating to crr now if we read this question and try to understand from which topic this question must be asked there are 10 topics we know that first is current affairs aptitude mathematics environment project management and so on so this topic that is crr question is related to economic development term and when we further dwell into it we observe that this crr term is exactly not current affairs this crr is a basic of economics so what we understand that upsc is also expecting us to know some basics about economic development industrial development social development and so on similarly in prelims paper of 2017 a question was asked relating to repo rate again repo rate is not a current affairs it is a basic of economy further in this year prelims exam again question was asked relating to 
elasticity of demand. And another question was asked relating to NPA, non-performing asset. This is again basic of economics and this question NPA, NPA is a current affairs issue, but the question was asked was relating to basics of economics. So, finally, we can interpret that since all these questions con consistently is asking us about basics. So, we must first cover basics of all these three things social development basics, economic development basics and industrial development basics. And after that we will further dwell into current affairs relating to these issues. So, what could be the current affairs? Again we have these three sources only. Now, in previous year prelims exam one question was asked that was simple question relating to GST. And we all know that for the past two years GST was a hot topic and a simple question was asked. So, what we can tell is that this is a current affairs question, this is a basics of economic question. Okay. Similarly, in this year one question was asked relating to consumer protection bill. Now, various committees, various bills, these form the part of current affairs. So, this was a simple current affairs question. But further, we should know that consumer protection bill exactly does not fit into any of these three things. So, what we can conclude is that we have to cover different types of bills that are in the Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha or they are passed by the cabinet to be introduced in the parliament. Similarly, one question was there which was relating to committee. There was a question recently which committee was formed relating to railways and the correct answer was Vivek Debroy committee. So, questions can be asked about committees also and it is particularly given to us railways. Railways is a part of infrastructure and infrastructure comes under economic and industrial development. So, these questions are of current affairs, these questions are of basics. Okay. So, finally, in brief what we have to do for this portion, we have to not dwell into many things, we have to limited ourselves to these three things and we have to focus on basics of the economy also in addition to current affairs. Okay.